Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. Today I'm going to be teaching you about first class functions in Python. This is the fifth video in the Python Advanced series and by the end of this video you will have a great understanding of first class functions and how they work. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw and I post loads of awesome Python tutorials and other computer related stuff, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. So a first class function is a function that can be passed as an argument and returns from a function and assigned to a variable. If you're a little confused by that, don't worry, by the end of this video you will understand what they do. So I've just got a new Python file here and we have a function called double and it has one parameter called num. And then it just returns the double of that num parameter. Pretty simple, this is how we have used functions before. And then we assign the return value to this variable called my double. And then we're just printing out my double. But we're also printing out double, which is a function. So if we run it, we get 8 because double 4 is 8. But we're also getting this function object. And this is because we weren't actually calling the function. We weren't activating it because we didn't have any brackets or parentheses on the end. Instead, we are printing out the function itself, the actual object, instead of the return value. And if we remove the brackets from my double, run it there, we get this function object. Uh, the parentheses means we are going to execute the function. We don't want to do that. We want to set the variable equal to the function, which is one of the key aspects of a first class function. So this is one of the parts of being a first class function. We treat the variable as a function. Now we can call the function using the variable. We can print it out with the parentheses on the end and let's get the double of six. We get 12. I'll just explain this in a bit more detail right now. So we've just got our function, double num, returns the double of uh, our parameter, which is num. Then we've got this variable here, which is my double and it's set to the function double. Notice how it doesn't have any parentheses on the end. So if we just print out my double without any parentheses, just print out my double, we get this function object. But now if we print it out with parentheses, we get 12. And if we print out double with parentheses and we put six, we get the exact same thing. This double right here is the same as my double because it's being assigned up here. We are treating this variable as a function, which is one of the key points of being a first class function. So we have learned that we can assign a function to a variable, but we can also pass a function to another function and return a function from a function. If a function takes other functions as parameters or returns functions as their result, they are called higher order functions. So I'm just going to comment this out. To pass a function to another function, I have this example here that I'm just going to copy and paste in. So if we just run it, we'll get greeting. Oh, sorry, we shouldn't actually have copied and pasted this in wrong. We don't want the, those uh, speech marks there. And then we get hi there in block caps. And now if we change this from shout to whisper, we get hi there in lowercase. So I'll explain what's going on here. We're calling this greet function, which takes a function as a parameter. And then greeting is equal to the function. The parameters of that, the arguments of that is hi there. And then we're printing the greeting. So when we call this, we're calling greet and we're passing whisper. So the function is whisper, which is this right here. So greeting equals function hi there, which is equal to whisper. And then notice how down here we don't have any parentheses, but here we do have the parentheses. And then we're passing hi there and up here in whisper at text, it's returning text.lower. It's returning the lower value of hi there. And then we're printing out lower hi there. And now we can just change this to shout. It does the exact same thing, but we're printing text.upper. When we're passing the function, notice how we aren't using parentheses when we are passing the shout and whisper arguments. We don't want to call the functions, we want to pass the function objects. And we aren't calling the function 
until we re reach this um, greeting variable here. Now what's great about this is we can swap this parameter here to a different function. For example, whisper or shout, depending on what we want. And we do all of this without changing any of the higher order function code. Without changing any of this, we have just completely changed the output, which is great. Now let's talk about returning a function. Now this can be quite tricky and hard to follow, and hard to see what is actually happening, but hopefully with these examples you will be able to see what is going on. Of course, if there is anything you don't understand, leave your question in the comments, I always reply to you guys. So I've just got this example here that I'm going to copy and paste in. So I've got this my parent variable here, and it's equal to parent, and the argument is 1. So that's been called because it's got the parentheses on the end of it. So if we go up to define parent, so it's taking in this number value, which is 1, so num is equal to 1. Define first child, return hi, I am Emma. Define second child, return call me Liam. If num equals 1, return first child, else return second child. We need to print my parent. We get hi, I am Emma, but if we change this to 2, call me Liam. So what's happening here? My parent equals parent2. We are calling this function right here. We're calling it now. So we go up here, parent num, we save these functions into memory but we don't run them yet. So if num equals 1, return first child, which isn't, it's 2 at the moment, so else return second child. So Notice here, we don't have the parentheses afterwards, so we are returning the function object. We're returning this actual function, not the return value. We're not returning hi I'm Emma, we're returning the entire function object. So now my parent is equal to define first child. So now let's print my parent, but let's call it at the same time. If we run it, we'll get call me Liam, because we are printing out the return value of second child, because we are calling it here. But, for example, if we did remove the parentheses, we'd get this function, parent.locals, second child. So my parent is equal to second child, because we've returned it, and then we call it, and then we get call me Liam. Okay, that's pretty much it for class functions. They are functions that can be assigned to a variable, passed as an argument, and returned from a function. Next video, we will be taking a look at closures. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below, I always reply to you guys. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like, it really would help me out. Also, if you are new around here, I post great Python tutorials every day, so if you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, that's it from me, cheers and goodbye.